Hey YouTube, Lawn Post 1975. Welcome back to another You Have It and I'll play it. Now, this video's request comes from Stu, otherwise known as Ninja Bear Hunk. I'll put a link in the doohickey down below as per normal. I really, really do recommend you go and check out his channel. He's a regular in the gaming community. I mean, if you travel around all the well-known channels, sort of like Snestastic and Steve Benway, you'll see that, you know, he regularly contributes to these people's channels. He's a thoroughly nice bloke. You know, he sends packages and parcels out to people. And uh, Pete talked about it recently on Snestastic. He's just such an immensely positive and likeable person to watch. You know, always in a good mood, infectious, absolutely infectious. I came across his channel when I first started mine, you know, pushing two years ago, I guess. And, um, I mean, I'm going for, oh, it is dark in here, isn't it? Going for a complete collection of every single game I had when I was a kid. So that's not really complete, is it? <laughs> or big. And yet I'm finding that difficult. He is going for a complete PAL Mega Drive collection. I mean, I just find that utterly, you know, utterly impressive. He's got a lot of great content on his channel. It's highly, highly polished, you know. He does playthroughs, old games. Hello, YouTube! And welcome back to another Let's Play. Ah, shit. Straight into the action on this one. He's done new games. Hello, YouTube. And welcome back to my Lollipop Chainsaw playthrough on PS3. He does his, uh, as I said, his Mega Drive pickups. Oh, it's a Mega Drive pickup. And this one takes me down to 13 games needed for a full set. He's got a complete collection of every UK Master System game and it does this absolutely brilliant series called the uh, the Sega Master System Quest where he's going to complete every Master System game out there. So what we're going to play is Transbot. He's also started uh, picking up Game Boy games and he's going to go for a full collection of those. I mean he's a true collector in every sense of the word but he also plays them. That's what's really really great you know. He plays the games and he shares that with you. They're not just sat on his shelf gathering dust you know. And he's got all the, the, the classic consoles. He's got a Master System, Snares, Snares. He's got a Dreamcast. He's got PlayStation 1, PlayStation 2. You know I cannot say enough good things. You could spend hours on his channel. Seriously. And go. Go and check it out. I mean if you like retro games, you like new games. If you just like someone who's immensely you know watchable go and check him out. Now, the game he wants me to play is this. Hello Dave! <laughs> Do you know, I've got so many mates called Dave and every time I say hello Dave I cannot help but snigger at myself because it just makes me think of Papa Lazaro from League of Gentlemen and I just can't help but snigger at myself. <laughs> hello Dave! Right. <laughs> anyway, why are we here? Yes, that's it. Thank you very much for inviting me to take part in You Hum It, I'll Play It. It's one of my favourite series on YouTube at the moment, so it's an honour to be picking a game for you to play, mate. But it did leave me with a bit of a dilemma. I'm going to pick a game from my childhood. But as soon as you asked me, two games sprang to mind straight away. Both on the Mega Drive. And... It then became a bit of a, hmm, which way do I go with this? Because you know when you're like, you're in a cartoon and you've got an angel up there, devil up there, angel giving it all that, saying, give him something great to play. Devil giving it, no, give him the worst game in history. It's, like, it's kind of that situation. But, I went with the one I'd like to see you play the most. So, see you later, devil. You're not going to have to sit through Rise of the Robots. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to be playing a great game, so yeah, gone with what is probably one of the best games I played as a child. I could not beat it as a child, I was terrible at it, I could not get past about the fourth level. But I loved it and I kept going back and back, because in my opinion, everything in it is perfect. So I picked for you Alien 3. Great, great game. Probably played it actually. I hope you have. It'll make it a bit more fluid for you. <laughs> but in my opinion, everything is perfect. Excuse me, I've got really bad to make. Um, yeah, <laughs> everything is perfect. Um, airy music. It just fits in. It's really atmospheric. It's not actually scary or anything, but it makes it really, really scary. The time limit. A lot of people hate that. I think it adds to the game immensely. It's just, it's so, so spot on. It means you're always panicking, rushing around, trying to get them hostages, trying to find the exit, trying to get out of there really quickly. And although it has nothing to do with the actual film, it does kind of 
capture the feel of the Alien films as a whole. And yeah, one of the most memorable games from my childhood. So I really hope you enjoy playing it. <sighs> Seriously, my tummy is killing me. God. Oh man, seriously, it's not good. Ah, uh, it's not good at all. <coughs> Hello, Dave. You're my wife now. Alien 3 on the Mega Drive. I have never owned this game, but I have played this game. I would long since sold my Japanese Mega Drive and sold my Japanese Super Famicom and actually played this quite a lot around my mate's house who had a PAL Mega Drive. I never got very far in it at all and it, you know it's probably been a good 15 years since I've even played this game. I do remember it being proper, proper balls hard and quite intense. Anyway, let's have a pop in it. Creepy. Probe. Didn't you make Tranche or the last Stormtrooper on the ZX Spectrum? Subsidiary of US Gold or something, I don't know. Alright, that's kind of cool. I will I will give it that. I um, have to say quickly on Aliens. Loved Alien. Fantastic movie. Aliens, technically my favourite, especially the director's cut. Alien 3, true underrated gem, especially if you watch the director's cut, or the extended cut, I should say, on Blu-ray. Alien Resurrection was just a bucket of warm stool, and Prometheus, while not technically an Aliens movie, was so disappointing. 30 years for that, seriously. Right. Yeah, I know. I, I, from what I remember, the game's difficult, so I'm a, you know, I'm a pussy. It's a playthrough, throw me a bone. I remember that from uh, Me Machines magazine, actually, that picture. Right. Jump. Fire. I have to say, oh, M41A Pulse Rifle, hands down my favourite movie gun. Yes, I'm that sad, I have a favourite movie gun. Am I right in thinking that it was actually designed by British Aerospace? Oh! Bernie, Bernie. Oh, that noise is amazing. Oh! Needs as well, it's just the game that keeps on giving. Oh, they don't mess around, do they? Oh shit! I don't think they respawn. I have to say, graphically, this is very, very pleasing indeed. I can't talk and play this for shit. I'm scared now. Music's amazing. Really, really atmospheric. Oh, fuck. Have they got 73 rounds? Oh, sexy piano. I, sorry, I'm going to have to stop talking. I'm just going to get my ass handed to me. Though they are really proper looking, man. That That's really, really cool. Was that even English? They are really proper looking. You know, they really are, you know, great character designs. Can I nade him? Oh, no. Gravity apparently isn't, my friend. Shit. I can fire up or down. Oh, fucking monkey bollocks. Right, I'm running out of fucking shit as well. Oh, there's a time limit. That was useless. There's a time limit. Oh, no. Oh, I don't like this. Now I'm all tense. Jump. I mean, yeah, essentially it's a platform. That, oh, look at him. There's something very Atari Indiana Jones about rescuing them. Um, yeah, it is a sense of platformer, so that's cool. Oh, but, oh, I'm still alive. Hooray! 258. Oh, tension, tension, tension. I have no idea where I'm going. That motion det Oh, hang on. Motion detector. So there's someone right outside there. Oh, I use it to track the people down. Now it's cricket, people. Now it's cricket. Where is it? Where, where did my motion detector go? Not fair. Oh, hang on. Oh, so I can fire up or down, but I can't fire left to right on the ladder. All oh, needs. Nope, that was me having a spaz out on the pad.
bollocks, this is hard. And I'm on easy mind. Good idea. Please don't tell me the maximum rounds I can carry is 99, because that's just... Budget cuts. That's like the British Army, the way we equipped our chaps. Poorly. Sorry, I had to work in a bash at Cameron there. Right, 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 right. Ah! Shit knockers. Free! Yay! Now, look after yourself, man. Why stop being such a victim? Shit! This game is monkey balls hard. Fuck. Flame is your friend. Yeah. Toasty toasty. No, I don't want to go up there. Play this on a Wiimote, by the way, so that's when my controls are a little bit funky. Music's so good. So it's that piano thing. Ah! Sort your shit out, Sigourney. I get, how do I get down there? Mm. Sounds like you're hitting them, but you ah, fuck. But you're not. There's a scream in the explosion. All right, one more try. Oh, so it doesn't, you know, let me keep the people I've rescued, but it does remember how much ammunition, you know, the gun I was using. Yeah, stay away from... Oh. Ah! It's good to see that the, uh, the ammo respawns. That's helpful. To quote Hicks, short controlled bursts. Now we'll go for this one. Man, they are, yeah, well, they're aliens, aren't they? they you know, they're eight foot tall armor plated xenomorphs, but they are proper frisky hard, man. I, I kind of do shit. I don't shit. I do like that, because, you know, at the end of the day, they're pretty much the best killing machine in the world in cinema. Does this work? That was nice. High five me, three pointer. I'm going around in circles. Oh, there he is. Sorry, you know. Does it only show up when there's people around? Hey, fuck it. Let's jump into the wild. Shit. Oh, come on. That's not fair. I'm going to tell my mum about you. Nunchuck keeps making me point at the floor. And that's not good. Wait, two point. Oh, I've got no bullets left. Shit. <laughs> Who knew that something like ducking was as uh, stealthful as that? Right, I'm going to call it quits there. That game was proper, proper balls hard and really quite tense. Graphically, very, very nice indeed. Reminds me kind of the Terminator game on the Mega Drive. The sound was really good. The music was absolutely epic and so atmospheric. Really, really did enjoy that. Um... Lots of weapons, that's good. Obviously it modelled itself more on Aliens, even though it was, you know, licensed from Alien 3, but I guess that's kind of, of all the movies, Aliens lends itself better to a video game environment, doesn't it? But didn't really feel that you had enough ammunition. But then I kind of guess that's the shtick with Aliens, isn't it? If they just give you unlimited ammunition, then you wouldn't get that sense of tension that you get, especially with that time limit. That time limit really, you know, gave you kind of an urgent sense of, you know, Gotta hurry, gotta hurry, which to me just made me panic a little bit and go around in circles. Because, yeah, you probably realised from that clip, it handed me my ass. But, yeah, very, very good choice. Really, really quite impressive. I forgot a couple of things about it, how good it looked and how utterly, utterly hard it was. However, I am going to go back to it, simply because I feel like we have unfinished business and I can't leave it there because it just makes me look terrible in the game. But, yeah, that was a really, really good choice, Stu. And everyone, please... Please go and check out his channel. I'll put a link in the doohickey down below. You won't be disappointed. If you like your retro games, if you like your current games, or you just like to watch someone having a good laugh, go and check his channel out. It's absolutely brilliant. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you later.